attendees. Well, not yet. Sometimes it takes a moment for people to come in. Um, and now we're recording, so you can go ahead. Okay, great. Thank you, Athena. So I'm going to call to order the Governance Organization and Legislation Committee, July 6, 2022, at 9.01 a.m. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public are able to access the meeting in real time via Zoom or by telephone. And I'll just take a moment to make sure that um, members can be heard and can hear. So we'll start with you, Pat. Uh, yes, present. Okay, Jennifer. Uh, yes, present. All right. And you can hear me, I assume. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, as I said before we started the meeting, Mandy and Anika will not be joining us for this meeting. Uh, so it will just, it will be the three of us. And for today's agenda, we have the plant medicine resolution, which is coming back from the town council as a referral. And we've been asked to make a substitute, substantive, substantive review of that. Uh, we also have a resolution in support of common sense gun laws and a resolution affirming Amherst support of access to reproductive care. And then we have two bylaws that we talked about at our last meeting, the peaking and peering 3.23 and 3.22 discharging of firearms. So I'm just gonna quickly look to see if there's anybody. Okay, there are not any attendees. So my plan was for us to begin with a review of the two resolutions and then go to the plant medicine Okay. And then the bylaws, if that works for everybody. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. And again, great. the plant medicine, nothing's happened to it since the council. We're getting it right. That so that's not entirely true. If you look okay. in the packet, right. uh, we have so uh Kathy I've read that. Yeah. And I was gonna explain that when we get to it, but okay. I'll just so we can wait. I'll just quickly okay. say in case Kathy joins us. Um, so Kathy wrote uh, a clean version, a, a simpler version of the plant medicine uh, resolution and then provided some input, which is on a second piece of a uh, document in the, in the um, packet of what changes she made. And so when we get to that as a committee, we'll talk about how we want to do the review based on the information we have. Okay. Works. I'm here. And thank you, Jennifer, you are willing to play Mandy today, it sounds like. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm sorry, I needed to turn a light on. I looked like I was in a tunnel. Okay. No, that's okay. Um, so that would be excellent. Um, I realize my, okay, I'm pausing <clears throat> on my computer real quick, just cause, um, let's see, pause. I hope that works. All right. So let's start with, uh, the common sense gun law resolution. If you would bring that up, that would be great. Jennifer, are you able to bring that one up? Oh, did you mean that? Yes. You meant form the motion. I thought you meant no. do the motions. No, I <laughs> Oh my God, that's, that's so okay. funny. No, that's I always okay. thought Athena brought those up. No, that's Mandy working in the in the background there. Yeah. That's okay. If you don't feel mm -hmm. comfortable doing it, well, I no, can... no, you know what? I have to um I actually have to get to them. Um so when I was, when I went to get the documents yesterday, they were not posted. They didn't well, come in until a little bit ago. Oh, okay. Um, two resolutions just, weren't referred until late yesterday. And, and once they were referred, they right. were, yeah, but they're no, in. They, I was on late last night. They weren't uh, referred until today. Okay. Maybe. Okay. So let me, um, okay. So I have to be really honest how do i do open this? it up to you that i don't i don't know either 
So you will um, open it and then you will share your screen. So it's common sense gun law? Yes. And it says draft two, just to be clear on okay. that. Um, I'm bringing it up. Yeah. And if, let me know. Uh, okay, I have it up now. And then I, I hate to we sound so dumb, but how do I, where so does it say, say share screen? On the Thank bottom. You. No, go ahead, Pat. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say it was at the top, but I don't know Jennifer either. So maybe you should go ahead. But I I thought you sh the share thing is up at the top, but I don't. Oh, here's share. I've never. I lost you. Yeah, no, I'm saying I'm at the top. I see share. No. I go to file, it says share. So in your Zoom window, uh huh. there at the bottom of the screen, there's a green button that says share screen. That's where it oh. is, oh. <laughs> and, then, and then once you click mm -hmm. that, then you can go select to desktop? which, you can select mm -hmm. if you wanna share your whole screen or just the window with the resolution in it. So if you share your whole screen, we'll see if no, the, you have other things Okay, open. so do I want to go, I don't want to go to desktop. I want to go to the, um, this the whiteboard. The, uh, no, if you have it open in a browser, then you would select the browser. That, um, you know, have I can I can share it, but it's problems. just difficult for me to take notes, yeah, Michelle, so and also yeah, edit. Yeah, no, I'm trying to just see which so. I, I know that allow Zooms to share your screen. Let's see if you see it now. And so there should be a little box when you hit share screen that shows desktop. So just yes. click, make sure that's highlighted, like I think in blue. It and is. Then, oh, and then share. Okay. And then okay. share. Exactly. Oh, I'm, if it works, I've learned a new skill. Well, why aren't <laughs> you seeing it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let me. So I'm hitting share and it just says desktop one. Yep. Perfect. There and you go. I, I, oh, I think I, I did that. I don't know whether you did that, Jennifer, or I did that. Pat, you did. It said you did you it, Pat. The screen. <laughs> okay, my screen didn't do it. In all fairness, I'm on my home computer, not the towns. I don't know if that's why. Yeah. It shouldn't be. Have... Okay. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, it's pure luck. <laughs> <laughs> it works, really. I'm thank you. <laughs> no, when you said that, I thought you meant, you know, when I just say form the motion. <laughs> Pat, so that that gives you um, the the um, great pleasure of being the uh, on the spot editor. If you don't mind doing that, um, that would be great. Uh, we'll try. Thank you. We'll have to let Mandy know how. Jennifer <laughs> and I are going to go for cocktails. I, I still want to. I'm still going to try and get mine up. I don't know why. <laughs> oh no, no, um, I, I can't well, do that because it says I'll stop Pat. So yeah, you don't want to share it. now. Yeah, I'm maybe sure. what we can do, Jennifer, is for the next one, if you'd like I will to practice. Try it That's my homework. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. All right. So, um, and I see there is some red wording in That's here. That's me. That's because my because I had looked at it briefly before the meeting. Great. And so the, yeah, so the one thing is a correction, but then I want to look at the statistics. So we should probably just start in the usual manner. That sounds great. Okay. So we will start with the title as usual. And um, being that we're such a small group, I think raising hands isn't necessary. Um, so just if you have anything as we go through, just go ahead and say it. Um, so anything on the title. Okay. And then we have counselor sponsors, um, Ball Milne, Devlin Gauthier, Griesmer, Miller, and Walker. And everybody has participated in this review um, and in, in this, but and have been invited to this review, excuse me, but I do not believe, let me just do one more check that we have anyone here. Okay, so starting with the first, whereas. Yeah, it seems to me that it should say, uh, President Biden declared, not has declared, just that he did that. I agree. So you remove the, the red is to remove that essentially. Yeah, but I don't know how to do a strikeout. 
Um, you know, just go ahead and delete it, I think. Oh, okay. If we're if Jennifer's comfortable with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we're just giving they don't have to see that we struck it. Okay, good. Okay, and, Oh, go ahead, Pat. Well, no, that's that is it in that one. And the second one I didn't notice anything, but I'm I'm wondering about the statistics. Yes. Right. I mean, there's been one or two more since this. Oh, was this written last night? Maybe inclusive then. I have no idea. I did add, so it was 278, um, which I think came from mom's demand action uh, and was very current. But, but what was it. the date of their, because one of the things, when, I'm sorry, Michelle. No, no, I, please. That's I okay. apologize. I really interrupted you. I, what I was looking at is dates of the information when I went online, some of the, um, so, like since May 25th, 27 school shootings, but that's back in, that was posted in 2018. So I'm sure there are more. Yes, so, I think, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Jennifer. No, no, I'm just saying I agree. I think there have been way more than 279 since 2009. And I thought I found that statistic, but I don't. Um, Let me um, pull. And up. I have I have more than three hundred and eleven thousand in three students have been uh, experienced gun violence at school since Columbine in twenty nineteen, and they're talking about that statistic included three hundred and thirty one schools. Um, and then between, go ahead. No, no, go. I'm gonna. I was... Please go ahead. Yeah, no, no. I thought last night, literally on the news on CNN, I heard a statistic that was much higher than that, and not going. Let's yeah, see. so I'm I'm concerned about because as I looked, I thought, oh, that confirms this, but then I noticed the date of when it was published online or when it when the news article was. Yeah. And. So as I said, like 27 school shootings, um, that was back in 2018. I th but that may be 27 school shootings since Uvalde, Texas, since the Robb Elementary. So I, yeah, I think yeah. the sponsors need to yeah. get real clear. So why don't we do this? Yeah. I. I think the, the numbers that I pulled from, so for this first one, since 2009, it was 278 when I pulled it last week. Again, that was from Moms Demand Action, which does pull the latest data. Um, but I will absolutely double check that to make sure and, and we can cite that. And then coming to the other one, uh, Pat, we're talking about the 948. Is that the one, the other one in question? Um, the school shootings um, since the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Where are you, where, where are you now? I am one, two. Because I'm six, still back. back oh, you're still the, here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I apologize. I'm moving very slowly. There, no, so I do have no, a question about that. If there's been... What does it say? Uh, 948 school shootings, and then it says way fewer mass shootings. Is that because they distinguish between the two? Yeah, I think so. There's a distinguishing. Oh, I see where you are. Factor there, yeah. Um, okay, let's stay with what where the second, the third whereas here, and let's just make sure we're clear on that. So we're going to check the 279 number for accuracy to make sure. Um, and then Pat, I think you were also saying that um, the 1569 and the thousand is are those the other two numbers that you want to get make sure of? Uh, yeah, I and yeah, just the, that all of the numbers should real be accurate and current, as accurate as we can, because who knows who we're going to kill today. Um, I, it's, yeah, sadly, by the time this gets to council, it'll be out of date. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a really yeah. good point. I wonder, do we want to add a whereas that's that speaks to that 
in some way? Well, let's get through what we okay. have because okay. you're asking us to do substantive work. Yes, agreed. Uh, and yeah. that's not our charge on this. Our I agree. Is, I yeah. agree. You are correct. Okay. So we need clarification on number three. Let's go to number four um, and see if there's anything in that. Again, I'm, I'm going to have to trust the statistic. I didn't have any time to look at that. Yeah. Um, so the two sites, if you want, um, Moms Demand Action, and then um, let me just pull up the other one Let's, in case you want to. So every town um, for our safety is another website. Uh, everytown.org. Okay. And those are the two sites, every town for gun safety. So that's where the statistics were gathered? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And these are the most, like, these two organizations are working in real time on these. They issues. update them daily. Yes. Very much. In fact, I get texts daily from Moms Demand Action. So it's, Yes, they're very, very current, but I agree that we should still double, triple check these statistics so yeah. we can do that. Um, okay, and then let's go to whereas gun violence dis disproportionately harms. Okay, and then we know, um, so whereas since the tragedy of Sandy Hook Elementary School, we're going to double check that number as well. And then whereas the presence of armed school resource officers. Yeah, I wonder, the. Uh, where uh, can lead to more suspensions and expulsions, comma, particularly of BIPOC students. I'm not sure why the dash. Yeah, or suspension, you know, I don't know. I'm hearing, I'm channeling George Ryan who hates dashes. He does, <laughs> he really does. I remember that. <laughs> good, I think it's good to channel George and I agree with that change okay, i don't think fine. there's a grammatical reason um there probably is but i don't know what it is <laughs> the only thing i can think of is because then there's like another clause in that right i think actually there because it is a clause yeah that can criminalize misbehavior so um let me see can lead to more what are you questions. jennifer are you saying the comma should be there or the dash i, I can i think maybe yeah. the dash because it's a in a it's saying it's all action feel less safe lead to more suspensions and criminalize minor behavior right unless, those are unless maybe you put particularly advice talk students at the end because i i don't know why it's interjected there because i'm sure all of those actions are disproportionately impacting bipoc students uh, I think that the can criminalize minor behavior is for all, like for the students, yeah. you know, I, I, yeah. Can lead to more. Suspense. I do think that is a clause that breaks up the action items. That's why it had a dash. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put it well. Hmm. Uh, what about if we did, can students, um, can cause students to feel less safe, uh, criminalize, uh, criminalize minor misbehavior and lead to more suspensions and expulsions, particularly of BIPOC students? Perfect. That's great. Great solution. Um, all right. I got to figure out how to do this because I'm not Randy. Um, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> No idea what I'm doing. This is insane. Okay, hold on. I'm <laughs> she makes it look so easy, doesn't she? I know. <laughs> um, okay, we I want that here. Yeah. 
See, I don't know how to do that thing that she does. Um, so this needs to be in red. Oh, I wonder if she's in track changes when she does that. I have no idea and I don't know how to do that. So. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Oh, can lead. Oh. You can clean it up after, like Mandy does that sometimes too, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> rarely, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, probably comma, particularly of BIPOC students. Well, you had, yeah, and then you'll cross out criminalized behavior at the yeah. end. Exactly. How you do, well, somebody's going to have to. Uh, okay. I mean, right. I wonder, are you, are you worried that it's not in there as like a change that doesn't show as a change that we made? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, she usually crosses out and then, right. and I don't know how to do that. So, well, you're a sponsor, though. I'm so a you, sponsor. Yeah. Right. And I, so, and I, and I think the group, yeah, is okay with me representing today. So, what I would say is, I think what goes into the packet in the end. I'm trying to remember is the clean version. It usually right? is just the clean copy. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not like a bylaw change that's already been adopted. So they don't have to see the first draft. I mean, we I can. This great. This looks really okay. yeah. good. Yeah. Really good. Okay. Uh, so now, therefore, be it resolved. Yeah. When I was looking at that one. Yes. Um, now, let me see. I. We're asking state officials to look at the pension fund and divest from companies. That felt like a separate whereas. Yeah, I it think that. I, I think so. Lynn didn't straight say this, but I think we were trying to keep it to one page. And so originally, when I sent the first draft, there were a lot more whereas and now therefore be it resolved and we combined a bunch of them to get them to okay. get the document a little bit simpler um so i have no problem if you would like to add that um what do you add. think jen i think it's um i think it should be i mean i think it's a very you don't want that to get lost in the weeds yeah and you know get just get lost in the not the weed, but just in the language, because that's very right, important. Wait a second. Oh, now that the IRS strongly supports federal, da, 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 that increases and threatens public safety. All right, now be it further resolved, that would, this would be a be it further resolved. What are we doing? The council asks state officials. Be it further resolved that the Amherst Town Council asks state asks, officials. Yeah. Yep. And I think the be it further resolved is caps. But yeah, it I, is. I, yeah. yeah. Okay. Is fund singular or plural? Look at the pension fund and dive. I look at the pension fund, the state. Is it one fund? I don't know. Let me look if I can see. This Shalini, this was something that came as a suggestion from Shalini and I'm not sure. Um, let's see. It sounds like fund is the okay. word. Is. Yeah. Ah. I, just check. Are we talking about the state pension fund or? State officials to look at the pension fund. It must be state because. Um, I think it is, but like, do the teachers have a separate fund? I mean, that's getting. The Massachusetts crazy. teacher's retirement system is what controls yeah. teacher pensions. Um, so I'm. It does say pensions are, okay, pension endowment or retirement funds. So maybe it's plural. Look at 
pension funds. Maybe it's just to look at pension funds. Yeah, I think they're, well, you certainly hope the teacher's fund has done this. And just to remove the the before pension. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Whereas is just have a, um, wait, that's, oh, got them. <laughs> <laughs> we are in public safety. Period. Or no, uh, yeah, sorry, you knew it. Yeah, Not that's period. Right. Are these period? Oh, yeah, these are periods. Okay, right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. We all the little things that I don't pay, you know, we let Mandy do. This is good. This is good. I'm going to have to learn how to strike out just because. I'm going to go practice uh, sharing. Sharing. <laughs> I'm about no, six steps you're, behind. Uh, you're doing, my way up I'd like you out. to share with me, Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> you're doing the next one, Jennifer. We're going <laughs> to. I will practice. Okay. Um, Yeah, so they are periods at the, um, you know, with the the therefore be it resolves. Mm -hmm. Supports the Amherst School District uh, in their commitments. I think there should be commitments because it's two districts. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. That's we need indefinitely. That sounds indefinitely continuing. So let me tell you, I do. actually pulled that language right from their resolutions. Okay. And they it was a language that was, I'll be honest, a little bit confusing to me, but I wanted to, since I was no, you're right. Yeah. I use their language. And yeah, then, I think it's okay. It's it, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And again, I had yeah. the press and the police as a separate, whereas oh, okay. a separate, be it further resolved. Um, but Lynn suggested combining. Okay, I want to look here because um, we're talking about two districts, so we made it commitments, and then in all of its schools, shouldn't it be their schools? Yes. Yeah. You realize Mandy's going to look at this and at the council meeting is going to point out all the things we missed. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if it goes through well, on. I think we're doing good. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. And so we're good with keeping the press yeah. on the yeah. same, be it further resolved. Okay. I, they, uh, ori originally, all of them were on Originally, they were all separate. Then Lynn suggested combining everything. Mm -hmm. I pulled out the school district one and, and the Crest and made that separate from the federal, state, and local grassroots one. It just, for me, yeah. like the, mm -hmm. the Crest and the um, police department working together for all nonviolent related calls isn't really in the same, it's not, it, yeah. you know, related necessarily just to schools, but it doesn't have to be to be in the same if it's separated this way. So I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Okay. But should it be a comma or nothing between schools and encourages? I think you have a, a colon there, semicolon. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Exactly. So can I, I would like to, if it's okay, um, and I know this may border on substantive, but let me see what you all think. Okay. So we reached out to Rep Dom to ask if there were any particular bills um, because uh, Shalini had brought a couple bills up and I'm just looking at this. Um, now here and what Mindy had said is she believes that this week they're going to be taking up and deciding the legislature is going to be taking up and deciding on certain bills to be supporting 
And so that we may want to wait till we know to include those bills. However, mm -hmm. we don't, do we want to wait on the resolution? So there was some- That's up to you. You're the sponsor, but I don't think we should be, we've gotten very lax about substantive stuff, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and I don't know what the bills are. You don't know what the bills are. So it seems to me this is ready without that. Uh, and if, uh, but supporting that would be really nice. Uh, when's the, when's our next meeting? Not, not GOL, the council. The council. The 18th, July 18th. So as a sponsor, would you be comfortable if I added one line in here while we're doing this? Um, is that okay? Because what Shalini recommended is that instead of mentioning bill numbers, we ask that the state passes the bills to prohibit ghost guns that allow gun pieces to be legally purchased and assembled, but lack serial numbers. Um, so, so read it again. Okay. So the state passes bills to prohibit so-called ghost guns that allow gun pieces to be legally purchased and assembled, but lack serial numbers. That's the one mass bill that is, you know, current as it relates to mass gun laws. And would that be a separate? It has to be a separate. Yeah, it would have to. I, I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's okay. okay. You're just gonna have to go real slow with me. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Okay, uh, just a sec. Uh, uh, it needs to be read. Okay. Oh, well, it didn't come out red, but. Um, you can highlight and do it, yeah. Yeah. I'll book a. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just not. Take your time. No, no. I couldn't even bring Bye. up the comma. Even share my right, screen. Let's see no. what happens. You needed to read it. I will read it. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So um, that the I think we have to say that the Amherst Town Council asks. that the state pass bills no. to ask that the state pass bills to prohibit ghost guns. Should it be bills or legislation? I, I think, think legislation. legislation. Yeah. Ghost guns. Yep. Great. And I wonder if ghost guns should be in um, Rent, um, quotes. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So I have to tell you, I never actually realized that's what ghost guns were. You just yeah, sell the parts and put them together? Right. Yeah, right so it allows gun pieces to be legally purchased and assembled, but without serial numbers. And it's a loophole in our... In That's our gun pretty policy. crazy. Which the Supreme Court probably supports. I think all uh, yeah. this is mute because it looks like states aren't going to be able to do anything they want. Anyhow. Okay. All right. What happens after ghost guns? Okay. Um, that allow gun pieces to be legally purchased and assembled but lack serial numbers. Should it just, should it just be without and assembled without serial numbers? Yes, yes. And I'm, I'm actually looking to see if there's a um, current, okay. Okay, an act relative to ghost guns. 
Um, What's the number? It's number 2439. 2439, House or Senate? House. H 2439. You got it. All right, be afraid that the Amazon asked that the state pass. So we're going to say not legislation, but H2439. Yes, we're actually going to get specific on that one. Yeah. And Mindy did say that the more specific we can be, the better if we do have, if there is a particular one. So I think that's good. All right. Uh, should we just... Uh, I think we can leave to prohibit. What do I have here? Okay, that. Okay. H2439 to prohibit ghost guns that allow gun pieces to be legally purchased and assembled without serial numbers. It, what, it's, uh, we're not saying an act relative to ghost guns, but I think what's there is more important than the full flushing out of the name, but Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's up to you guys. Uh, you know, what do you think? I think that's what they're called. No, they I understand. No, no. So I think it's okay the way it is. Okay, great. All yeah, right. yeah. I'm just looking. Okay, the Committee on Public Safety and Homeland Security to whom were referred the petition 2439. Um and others relative prohibiting ghost guns, so-called. So by the way, that's how they say it, ghost guns, comma, so dash called, comma. Wait, wait, <laughs> Be for, where, are, where are we now? Uh, H2439 and Did then- Did they say not... so-called gun, ghost guns? Do they say ghost guns and then comma, and then so dash called comma. So instead of putting like parentheses, like we were gonna do, they that's what they do, so called. A to comma prohibit. between guns. Yeah, what? so we can take, take out allow. the, take, are you saying take out the quotes and put comma so called? Exactly, yes. Okay, all right, and I it's think hyphened. I get it now. And then it, the comma word- so called. Yep, comma. Hyphen. That Is allows it hyphen, so called? So hyphen called, comma. Just a sec. Ah! And I'm not looking at you guys, I'm looking at the actual, so I don't see yeah, how no, lower fast, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. That allow, okay. Okay, so that, um, and then it says that allow gun pieces to be, this is directly from the bill, that allow gun pieces to be legally purchased or made to create fire harms that lack serial numbers. Okay. Do you want to change it to that? I think we should, if, yeah, if that's okay. I okay. Think read it again. Good. Say it again then. Okay. That allow gun pieces to, to be, be legally purchased. purchased or made to create firearms that lack serial numbers. Now, what's interesting is it looks like, oh, I see, okay. So there's another bill that this was referred to um, this committee, right? The pu Public Safety and Homeland Security. Um, and now Bill 4869 includes 3D printed guns and ghost guns together. Right. Um, so that's... Should we add that? Or is that... Well... Wait, so there's a separate bill now that prohibits ghost guns and 3D? Printed guns, they're on one, yeah. But are they, it's the different house. than the H2439? It incorporates it, yeah. So like there's a first page that says it's accompanied by bill house number 2439. So it's a separate bill um, called house number 4869. 
that is an act relative to 3D printed guns and ghost guns. So, um, wait, let me try the uh, relative to 3D. Yes, 3D printed guns. Because what we're saying asks that the state pass an age to prohibit ghost guns. I think. Right. They, and if the state decides to combine them, that's. Then that's fine. Right. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, that's scary. Let's just go print a gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's really scary. But we don't want to infringe on anybody's rights. Oh my goodness. Except your right to choice, but I digress. Oh yeah, but women shouldn't be able to choose. I think we should castrate men who make women pregnant, <laughs> who don't want to be pregnant. Okay. <laughs> that's our next, that's our next, that's that's our next proclamation. <laughs> yeah, all right, so we do need a motion. Would Jennifer, would you like to make the motion for this? And I think we'll need to scroll up so that you can yeah. read uh right read the uh title that is title okay so i move i have to try and see the title that that's blocking it um to declare yeah i move to declare oh, i can't I see. see the title because that box is blocking it so yeah. i move maybe oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry that's my okay. fault it's okay i move to declare that the resolution, thank you, in support of common sense gun laws and opposing legislation that threatens public safety is clear, concise, and actionable. Consistent and actionable. Clear, con not concise, consistent. Okay. Consistent. Thank Second. you. <laughs> okay, great. Um, any further discussion? Uh, only that, ah. I don't know whether you can see all the stupid stuff I'm doing, but I'm yeah. trying to set it up so I can. Okay. All right. I'll get rid of that and that. <laughs> so you're Michelle, the current, st the statistics still have to be checked and that should be you. Yes. I will Do check not. those. Do we need to include something in the motion that says yes. conditional? Right. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Right. Okay. So then just, yeah, if you could yeah. say. So I move to, um, declare that the resolution in support of common as amended gun, gun laws yeah and opposing legislation that threatens public safety uh, as amended um, to, with the statistics updated prior to the, on the, yeah right pri with the statistics updated and confirmed prior to referring to council is clear consistent and actionable Athena, is that a real, is is that that a real motion? Um, I'm going to do declare the resolution, et cetera, et cetera, subject to updated statistics prior Thank to you. council action. Thank you. Perfect. I'm so glad there's no participants in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully no one chooses to watch this. Right, but they won't, this, they won't do a news article on it. <laughs> GOL members fumble through. <laughs> hey, we did it though. You know, we did it. Right. Yes, so we, we need a second? Yes. I seconded it. Oh, you seconded it. Add seconds. And all right, let's take a vote. Jennifer? Uh, yes, I. I'm a yes. Pat? I. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we are moving on. All right, one thing. Am I supposed to get this to you as the chair? To the Athena, so you, can, one? you can actually send it to Athena and just copy me or send it okay. to me, copy Athena okay. one or the other. Athena really needs to have it mostly. And and Lynn, please, if you could copy Lynn because oh, yes. it's going to the council. Thank you. And somehow or other though, you'll get the updated statistic, Michelle. Yeah, so I'll send, I'll get the updated statistics and I'll, I'll make sure those get um, incorporated prior Thank to the meeting. Much. <laughs> All right, so now we can move on to our second resolution. And um, 
Jennifer, do you want to try to share your screen? And I do. do. That uh, let me. And that is um, the plant medicine. No, no, this That's is the decriminalization. Nope. Um, affirming yeah. Amber's support of access to reproductive Draft, um, resolution 7.5. About abortion rights. Right. Yeah, that's draft yeah. resolution 7.5. Okay, let's. Is that what it's called in there? A reaffirming. It says a resolution reaffirming support for access to safe and legal abortion. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's on my screen. I'm going to share screen. I, I don't know, I go to share screen, I highlight it. It says okay. share. And open system preferences, I click on it. Okay, and then it says low. I don't know, remember what it said. So let me wait. pretend like you're gonna do it, Pat, and then see. Yeah, I'm gonna try, I, let me go up here. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through this with um, Athena maybe after. Yeah, me too, even. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm just gonna, all right, I'm going to SharePoint now. I'm sorry okay, to see. I'm not in SharePoint. I'm just in the phone. Oh, did you try going into SharePoint, Jen? I don't know if that makes a difference, but like where you're. I think that's what I did last time, but right now I'm, there we go, recent GOL committee. All right, hang on. Maybe that's it. I'm. Oh, I, I'm having trouble. Hang on. I'm sorry. Shouldn't matter, SharePoint. No, it shouldn't. What the hell is going on? Um, all right, there's SharePoint. But for some reason or other, GOL is not showing up here. I know on mine, sometimes I have to like hit the refresh. It, it oh, okay. Go Thank out you. and come back in. Nope. Okay, here, here we are, GOL, meeting packets and agendas. Mm -hmm. uh, copy link, no. Hang on. I'm very sorry. I oh, it's okay. no, I'm actually gonna have to come in and and see someone. Okay, where is it now? Help me do this. Uh, common sense gun res no reaffirming right to abortion care. Uh, gotcha. Now I want to share. That's not how I did it before. Fuck shit. <laughs> Definitely no participants, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, this is just so before, whatever I did made another panel come up, and that's how, and I'm not seeing. Do you want me? I don't mind pulling this one up. I just will have to, I won't be able to see you, but since we're just talking, it's fine. Um, so if, if that what will. I, what I can't figure out is people you can, okay, Tob. Jennifer Tob. This isn't what I did before. That's why Miller, Michelle. Uh, that, no, this is sending them a copy. So do you you're see looking at the, the share screen window or the SharePoint window, but the button is on your Zoom window? Oh, okay, hold on. Well, Athena, I'm sorry we're so yeah, no. oh that's right, that's right. Ah the green, yeah. There we there go. There you go. Oh god. <laughs> so we have to go to the green one. You pull it up and then you go to green. You want to try it, Jen? Well, I, I, I 
think my problem is I'm working on my home computer, and so okay. it doesn't allow okay. me to go to SharePoint. Yes. Okay. Green. Oh, I was pulling them up from from the public file. I wonder if that's why. On Zoom screen. You should okay. still be able to share I your screen, be. but you wouldn't be able to edit it because the one. Yeah. Is, that's, that's probably a PDF. That's probably why. Okay, I will. Athena, if I should I come in and see you or Sean about this? Um, I can set up a, a time for us to do a little Zoom tutorial anytime you like, okay? Okay, thank you. Set that up outside of this meeting. Yes. Yeah, Jen, I'd like to be part of that so I could learn how to strike through so we can, Jen, you and I can talk and give Athena a couple different dates or she could give us some Great. Time. Sounds good. Thank you, Athena. Awesome. All right. Okay, you got it. So this is great. And um, is it, do, last time you made it a little bit bigger, I think you zoomed it a bit. Um, I'm not sure where you did that from, but if I'm not sure either, does that help? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Hang on. Uh, okay. All right. I made you the rest of us very little. Okay. I haven't had a chance to really go through this one. But. Okay. Let's start with the, um, the title and I don't see the title on my screen. I don't know if you do Jennifer. No. There we go. There. Okay. Well, a right. resolution reaffirming support for access to safe and legal abortion in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and across the United States. And Pat, were you a sponsor of the previous? Original, yeah. Okay, so that's really good. I'm glad you're here for this then because I yeah, know. Go ahead. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't have much of a memory. So, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was like three or four pages long. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. All right, so, um, and this is counselors Devlin Gothier and myself, and we will start with the first whereas. And since you didn't have much of a time to review it, if we need just a little more time to read each one, that's totally fine. I, I wonder if it shouldn't say millions of women. And it should say of, of millions. Not on millions. Uh, okay. Yeah. That might be a typo. That was a typo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so we used the language individuals and people throughout this. Um, and so, you know, that's fine, but yeah. Okay. But it's real. I guess men make some decisions. But not it's not just women yeah there, yeah there are non people who are not women that have uteruses right you're absolutely right thank you yeah okay so second whereas and this is the resolution that you i think wrote pat that this is referencing the second one yeah. Yeah, we can. I think it's fine. Do you want to? Um, would it make sense, like we've done before a few times, to link that to the previous resolution, like to highlight 2019 resolution? So if somebody's looking at this, they could click on that and it'd be taken, since this is a reaffirming of a previous commitment. Is that, do you know, remember how we've done that in a couple other instances? So that they could find that original resolution. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, we can, I'll take it. I'll make sure that gets taken right. care so of. So would you, and you do it in this, not the next one, but would you highlight 2009 resolution? Hyperlink that. That's what uh, I'm saying, but I'm not sure. Where, which, the 2019, right? Resolution. Right, so you could yeah. hyperlink it there. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, well, I'll make sure that that gets taken care of after it's, it's sent. Could I type in hyperlink here? Sure, just as a reminder, yeah. No, I want it to be red. Okay. Is that one word? Mm -hmm. I think so. All right, great. So the third whereas?
Okay, the fourth. Again, you have, uh, and I need help with this, the dashes, uh, why not commas? Where are we? Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. that one. So that's an explainer. Um, like it could, it can, it can absolutely be commas there if we, prefer, and we do generally use commas. So I'm, I'm fine with it being, I think George, if you're channeling, George would use commas there. <laughs> Whoop. That's not what I wanted. Uh. No backspace. I just want it for the. Uh, God, this certainly makes. I'm just going to do that anyway. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. You think in this case that there's so many commas now. That that's kind of the point was to just break that up a bit, but yeah. I don't have a problem with the dashes. If okay, well we can leave them. Yeah. Okay, let's start a new. Let George, you know, <laughs> uh, he'll be okay. With it. Back now, hold on. I just think it's too many commas. It is a lot in this one, exactly. I like commas, but I don't know. I don't care. Uh, whoops! What did I do? Oh, just to, that's just to end. Yeah. 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 I mean, oh, yeah. after individuals, it would be dash. Dash. Nope. No, no. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I'm totally going to make Mandy ask Mandy if she will watch this. Meeting. No, do not. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. so she can feel the level of appreciation that we have. <laughs> she can okay. never take vacation. Right. No. Okay. No, because right. you and I, Jennifer, we're going to have this knock. Yeah, by the next one, right. Absolutely. We'll be editing her, you know, in the dust, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whereas in the week, that's where we are now. And this could, I mean, so. Well, it will still be in the week, in the week eight. That's true. So that will yeah, be fine. That didn't change because. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. All right, whereas banning abortion. That's a good line. Yeah, it is. And uh, whereas reproductive rights. Human rights. Yep. Yeah. Okay, despite the decision. Yep. Okay. Further protecting access. And this, um, I will speak on Anna's behalf for a moment um, to say that Anna worked on this with the police department um, on her own very recently. Um, and she could talk more about it maybe at the meeting, but this is a really great. Yeah. Um, a great initiative. So really yeah. appreciate it. Were you part of that too, Pat? I, that, no. oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. So now therefore be it resolved. And the second, should there be, um, after abortion rights, comma between rights and reproductive health care rights. Protection of abortion rights. Yes. I believe that there should be to the protection of abortion rights, comma reproductive health care yeah. rights. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you see that, Pat? I'm sorry, I was. Oh. Uh, um, I don't know where we are. And I'll okay. Tell you. Uh, that one right there. And now be it resolved that the Amherst Town Council hereby reaffirms its commitment to the protection of abortion rights, comma, comma. between rights and reproductive. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, rights. Perfect. Okay. Um, and now and, we're second, be it re further resolved. Yeah, I have a, because I'm looking at how this is typed up and it says Massachusetts House, House Bill H period 4930. 
And maybe that's what should be in the other one. What yeah, else? that's yeah. a good suggestion. Okay. All right, Massachusetts. House bill. Right, that's the formal. Yeah. Well, it's fine here. So I just have to go back into the other one. To the other resolution. Yeah, yeah. yep. Okay. Sorry. Hello? Where All are right. we? we are now um, at the last, basically we're finished up with this. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, great. Pat, would you mind making a motion on this? <laughs> um, I move that a resolution affirming support for access to safe and legal abortion in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and across the United States be declared clear, consistent and actionable. Second. Great, okay, and I'm a yes. Pat? Aye. Jen? Aye. Okay, great. All right, excellent. Great, so now we are going to move to our discussion on the plant medicine. Um, and can you pause for, sorry, Michelle, can you pause for just a minute? Because we, we don't have a quorum at the moment while Pat's of out of course, the, out of the room. Of course, absolutely, absolutely. I'm sorry. Get rid of this. You, you well, we, we're done with this right now, right? Yes. Yeah. Right, I just have to copy it so that I can send it to you, Michelle, and everybody else that I'm supposed to send it to. Right. Uh, the wrong thing. <laughs> Don't lose it. <laughs> so much fun. Um, <laughs> wait a second. Yeah, and we'll stick it down here. Control V. All right. I don't know what's happening. All right. I'm going to get rid of this. Save. Uh, I never felt so inadequate in my whole life. Well, that's not true, but all right. I don't know. Okay. Now, how do I get rid of that crap? Are you, do you want to stop sharing screen or I, I don't see much of what you're doing right now. Just a bottom. Oh, of good. Then I must have unshared. Stop. No, sharing. You're still, there you go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm in awe. I'm in awe. You're sharing your screen. So I think you're a tech genius. <laughs> We're going to talk you through the next one. Cause I think I know what we did wrong. <laughs> now we have to go into the plant medicine, right? Now we're going to go into the plant medicine. And so just to give you a little bit more back, we don't have the whole hoopla crowd. <laughs> no, we, so there has been no communication with the community sponsors since the last meeting. Um, and since that meeting, we received, as I said earlier, um, a draft that Kathy worked on yep. and also um, some comments to, to explain her draft. So I'm gonna pull though, would, Everyone good if I share my screen this time? <laughs> uh, <So good. laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna do that. And then here we go. Um, watch now I'll have uh, <laughs> issues. I hope you mess it up really badly. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we all have to have our- <laughs> The thing is okay. probably pulling her hair out. I can't even imagine laughing. what the thing is thinking. <laughs> Laugh, laughing and um, excuse me, I just have to pause for one second. Um, please give me one second.
Okay, excuse me. Um, all right, so here we go. This is And I unfortunately I'm not techy enough to know how to share. I probably could share the draft and this, but let's take a look at this first. Do you all see my screen? Yeah, yes. and we have okay. this in the packet. So right. yeah. I did see this in the packet. So I'm more showing this just for anybody who might be watching the video um, just briefly so that there's a good understanding of where Kathy was coming from. I really want to appreciate Kathy for taking the time um, to write a simplified draft and listening to the counselor comments um, and then providing this additional information here. So I am curious, given the sort of controversy that surrounded this particular resolution and the council discussions and it coming back here to us for a substantive review, um, I'm curious how the committee feels about Kathy's sort of, it, she didn't go through and mark up the original draft, she created a new draft. Yeah. Um, and so I was fine with that, but I'm curious what the, um, and Jennifer, I see that your hand is raised. Yeah, I, I feel comfortable with it because I, I for me personally, it, it, it does get to what I feel comfortable supporting because I do think when it really got in, and Kathy had discussed this during council into, promoting the use of substances, I just don't feel qualified to weigh in on that. Mm. I just, so I, what I personally feel comfortable is supporting decriminalization and research, but I, I literally don't know enough about this to really weigh in further than that. So this okay. makes me personally feel more comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. And so um, just keeping sort of your feelings about what you can support separate, which is really important, it is in terms of our review, I'm curious whether we should pull up Kathy's version and sort of work with that, or should we pull up the original version and try to use Kathy's version? Um, and I see Pat's hand is raised. Yeah. Um, I feel like we should work with Kathy's. Uh, the whole one of the major issues with the um, resolution as it was written is it was dancing all over the place. And the right. only thing that, you know, somebody said this um, recently, uh, Andy, I think, a resolution tells a story and gets to a point. And the point is that I believe that the council supports the task force and the task force is do will be doing a lot of research on the very issues that the larger resolution um, cares about. Um, and I think that Kathy's really slimmed this down in a positive way so that there's actually very little that we might have to do with this to okay. have it ready to come to the council. That's my opinion. Yeah, I, I agree with that because in the original that we were supporting the state resolution kind of got lost that that was yep. really well that's that's you often what our resolutions do is state and her support for legislation. Right. And, the, you know, there we're going back to a, a thing that I said early on. This is about plant medicine. And then they're talking about frogs because the frogs are endangered. But that's right. not what, and and I I must admit that I am, um, ne never mind. No, it's okay, Pat. If I am dreadfully please. uncomfortable with the manipulation by the sponsors of people who signed their petition. Uh, and I, I know that, I think it was you, Michelle said, oh, it was just a way of doing something that we're not familiar with. We have to get familiar with it. No, when you're asking, because I've done this plenty of times as an activist, you're asking people to sign something. If you're going to then use it, even just to publish their name, you need permission. And you cannot send an email in their name 
even though that, so I, I have, so that I must admit that this is coloring my reaction to the resolutions. And I apologize for that. I would like to move away from that. Yeah. But, so, but the only one that I think we should be working on is Kathy's. The council sent this to us to work on, and there was quite a bit of sentiment on the council about what could or could not be supported as Kathy's notes kind of show. So. Yeah, and I agree. I would like to work with Kathy's, which I actually haven't seen. I saw this document, but I didn't actually. So I'll be seeing Kathy's for the first time. Oh, okay. It's in our, I'm going to pull it up right now. It's in our packet. The one piece that I'm a little bit concerned about, and unfortunately I haven't had time to review um, in advance too much, is it was my understanding that the um, committee that you referenced um, that we've talked about, Pat, previously was stalled. Um, and so I'm just quickly looking at where House Bill 1494, an act establishing a task force to study equitable access to ethnogenic plants. I'm mm -hmm. looking at it on the website right now just to see where we're at so that, um, okay, so it looks like on, because everything had to sort of be decided on um, by June, I forgot what the date was. So June 9th, 2022, um, it says House accompanied a study order CH4844. And I'm looking at that right now. Um, I don't Can you, know. Michelle? Yeah. Can I Since pull that up here? Your screen. If you could copy what you're seeing or something so we could see it. You got or it. Copy, cut and paste it into this document so we can see it and increase the size. Because let me do this real quick. Let me. Now that's ghost guns and stuff. That's yeah, no, I'm I'm typing as we speak. Oh, just, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, sorry. that's okay. Um, I'll just, I just want to, I'm going to pull it up. How? 494. Thank you. One, four, nine, four. Okay. This is a very slow website for some reason. I don't know if you've all used, used it, but there's always a delay when you click to try to get on to these, look at these bills on the malegislature.gov. Um, so it just is, it, you can see it swirling up there. It's just gonna take a second. Okay, there. So you can see here, this was the task force and here is the history of the bill. Um, it looks like a hearing was scheduled. It was my understanding that it stalled out. I'm not sure what occurred, but I'm gonna click on 4844 and see where that takes us. Yeah, interesting. So it came up faster on my other computer. It says order relative to criminal offenses, civil liability, child welfare, the justice system, public safety, drug offenses, assault, and other judiciary issues. Here you are. So this is now sponsored by the Joint Committee on the Judiciary. The status referred to House Committee on Rules. And so it's being, basically that task force is being bulked in with these other ones that relate to. But we're still only talking about it. We are, yes, exactly. Yeah. So I think that a study order is basically like a bunch of bills that get put together in a particular committee to be studied. So I think that we're safe just to say that we're going to. So let me pull up Kathy's and just see what the. Uh, Kathy's refers to one bill. Yeah, it's it says, 1494, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. 1490 and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. And that's what we're saying this resolution is about. 
our okay. support for that. Okay, so let me get that. Here we go. And you should be able to see that in a second. All right. So maybe what we should do is just go through like we would a regular review and but we can we know that we can expand our comments beyond clarity, consistency and actionability. And I'll make that bigger for you, Pat. One second. Thank you very much. I have a hard copy, but it's still good to see it on the screen. One second. Are you going to be able to do notes on this? I'm going to try. And then if I, what do you think? If, if I I'll give it notes, try? but I was going to volunteer Jennifer to take notes. <laughs> I can take notes. Yeah, I, I can't can do the edits on this. I can't do share, but I can take notes. Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> Pencil and paper, I'm good at that. <laughs> and I'm going to try to get this into a different, I think that there's, let me see something. It just needs to be bigger. Did that make it bigger? No. Oh. There, that's starting to make it bigger. Okay, whatever but, you did. Okay, let's I try. I have it. a hard copy, so How's I'll be that. I, I do too. Yeah. yeah okay. So that's better. That's better. Okay. So you're gonna take notes, Jennifer, and then we'll follow up with notes. Um let me just because I can, if that's better, then I can, hold on, let me see something real quick. I don't know what just happened here. <laughs> One sec. Okay. All right, editing. Oh, so you're going to do it right. Oh, I don't think so. I, I doubt that, but we'll try. <laughs> um, I just can't move this stupid thing. Hard copy. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's start um, a resolution. Let's start with the title, resolution to support. And honestly, I don't even, I feel like this shouldn't even have counselor sponsors on it at this point. We have all worked so hard on this across the board in these discussions that we've had. Um, it feels like it's a real I council think it's a requirement. That What's that? Yeah, a resolution has to be sponsored by a counselor. So we're putting you in. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right. A resolution to support decriminalization of the use of plant medicines and to prioritize public health responses. So that was the title. Any, does that look good for people? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then it should say, uh, the sponsors were Anika, you and uh, Pam Rooney. Correct. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. So I would put the three of them and then you can always check with them if they, whatever they want to do. But are we still putting the community sponsors? I I wasn't planning on it, no. Good, yeah, I don't think we should because they're not supporting. They're this. not here, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was Lopes. Michelle and Pam. I'll be right back. I've got to grab something quick to eat. I'm sorry. Okay, we won't oh. talk about anything. You can. <laughs> well, Athena doesn't like for us to, so I'm gonna pause. Sorry. No, you're no. Uh. -uh. In fact, I will use this moment um, to go to the bathroom, and if that's okay with you, Jennifer, I just need a minute. I'm gonna turn my oh, camera. Sure. Off. Okay. Sure. All right. Don't so, Athena. Maybe you could just I'll send an email, but. Would maybe next Monday or Tuesday work for you to um, give us a tutorial? I'm gonna shut my picture off so I can chew, but, <laughs> but I'm here. Okay. Yeah, Jennifer, I think um, Monday or Tuesday next week would work. 
Um, let me see if there's a room that we can use. Oh, okay, great. We'll and and I'll great. and I'll shoot you in pats and times the work. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you so you much. Very much, Athena. You're welcome. I'm gonna fill up my coffee while Michelle's away. <laughs> Uh, Tuesday is better for me than Monday, but I will make time if I have time. Um, let's see. Tuesday is very good for me. Okay, I'll, I'll see what rooms are open. Okay. Okay, everyone back? <laughs> yep. Okay, great. So that's why I'm not. Okay, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Let's start with the first whereas. Seems fine. Okay, second. Is. Can I just do a quick, what is ailments? I mean, I know what ailments, but what's the definition of ailments? An illness. Yeah. I don't know. Can I don't, do we have, I don't can't we just say for treating substance use? Yeah, disorders? I don't like that. that I know. Language. I would just take out the whole ailment such as. Okay. Hmm. Are you good with that, Pat? Yes. Okay. Okay. Such as, let me see if I can do add comments. Okay. Um, Tendencies toward recidivism. Um, I mean, I understand, I think, what's being said here. I just, can we just say recidivism? I think you can, yeah. Okay. Are you okay with that, Pat? Just, okay, yes. So we're getting rid of tendencies toward, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you can do the fancy strikeout. Yeah, so just so you know, and I'm sorry, I should have said this earlier, but I'm a person that has to be doing it to, to remember it. If you go up to this top where my um, cursor is, you can change this from editing to reviewing. And when you review, this is what it does. Gotcha. All right, so let's go to whereas despite the potential health benefits. I don't think we need the word even. Oh, get it. Yeah, it shouldn't be there. Okay. Whereas the war on drugs, and do we want to say the so called or do we want to quote, put quotations? No, I think we should just call the war on drugs. Has it? Okay. But also it says vulnerable people, particularly people of color. And I would say, and those of limited financial means because there's certainly people of color who have fine financial right. means. And, okay, one more time. So particularly people of color. And those with. Okay. Or, and people with limited financial needs. I, and those with limited financial needs. So okay. are you okay with people with, or those you like the, I guess, cause we say vulnerable people, particular people of color, I think, and those with might sound better, Pat. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. Do we need after unnecessary arrest, do we need a comma there? No, you're right, we don't. Okay. Good catch. Well, I guess what they're saying is unnecessary arrests generally and then incarceration 
of vulnerable people, particularly. I guess that's what the intent was. To me, it was it led to the unnecessary arrest of and incarceration of vulnerable people. Yeah, right. I think that's right. This other people are less likely to be arrested. Yeah, exactly. But and is the word vulnerable? Um, I'm not sure that's vulnerable. Vulnerable is. Like, I feel like vulnerable is almost saying like that the person had the problem in a way. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Whereas. Okay, let's get rid of vulnerable then. But ha there should be a word of what well, we're saying, particularly people of color. So I don't think we even need a word there. Are we okay getting rid of that? A vulnerable. Is that yes. what you Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, are you, Jennifer, are you okay with that? Yeah. People of color, yeah, okay, okay. Or okay. do we even need people, what if it says, the war on drugs has led to the unnecessary arrest and incarceration, would that make sense? Comma, particularly, has, how about this, has led to unnecessary, take out the, the, the before unnecessary, the war on drugs has led to unnecessary arrest and incarceration, comma, particularly of people of color and those with limited. Yeah, I think that works. Do you, are you okay with that, Pat? I think so, are you just, Here, you're let just me... talking about getting rid of the the. No, no and then getting rid of, in, of, has led to getting rid of, of vulnerable people, of entirely so whereas comma the war on drugs has led to unnecessary arrest and incarceration comma particularly of people of color and those with limited financial needs I it has to say of i think it should still say people um i i don't know i'm trying where i'm it led to unnecessary arrest and incarceration and then it should say, and then it could say particularly of people of color. And those with limited financial. Right. Yes. Okay. And okay. I'm a little, uh, I can go with it, but I'm a little uncomfortable because somehow or other, we're not saying white people in here anywhere. And it's very easy for people's minds to think that only black people are being, you know, and yes. but, by the particularly, but it's true. We have a war, you know, we, uh, we don't have to go into that explanation. So I guess when I was seeing- I mean, I guess what I'm just thinking is arrest and incarceration. I mean, Pat, would you just finish your thought? And then Jennifer, sorry, yeah, Pat. I was just saying that the people, and I don't need to have it, but the people there after incarceration of people, it somehow or other for me included white people in the, white people are being arrested and incarcerated as well. But it, it, take it out, take it out. Cause I'm sitting here, yeah, reading it six different ways. Take it out. Incarceration of. I mean, it's clearly people, that's who else are you incarcerating? It could be of all people particularly. I just feel like, I guess we're getting back to the vulnerable. I don't, I'm finding out vulnerable, but I feel like the people needs an adjective because it's clearly people. And we're not talking about animals. Okay. So we used a, a term in the last, hang on. Um, historically exploited was one term. They that have we, vulnerable people. That's what they have. People, what they have is in their resolution the unnecessary penalization, arrest, and incarceration of vulnerable people, particularly people of color and people of limited financial means, rather than, and I actually think their paragraph is better than this one. Okay, do you want to read that to me? Um, and we'll, thank you for keeping your eye on that, Pat. Okay, so tell me what this, the war on drugs has. Led to the unnecessary penalization, or comma, arrest, comma. Necessary. 
That's right. Unnecessary penalization. penalization. Yeah. Oh gosh. Now you're going to see what a bad speller I am. P-E-N-A-L-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. Okay. Unnecessary penalization, comma, arrest, Where and am I? unnecessary incarceration. And incarceration of vulnerable people, comma, particularly people of color and people of limited financial means, comma. People, particularly people of color and people of limited financial means okay does that look right um where are, wait, wait, wait comma rather than prioritizing and i can't see what we yeah that's there okay and I guess the reason I stuck with it because the work I've done through alternatives to violence, the majority of incarcerated men that I work with are um, BIPOC or black, but the poor whites are in there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're, because if you're a wealthy white, you just get out of this automatically. Right. We all yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah. You should watch a really great movie that I was turned on to um, by the legal counsel at Pleasant Trees. It's called White Boy Rick. Hmm. If you haven't heard of it, um, it's a really great movie. I think it's on Amazon Prime. I can't remember or Netflix, but White really Boy Rick? White Boy Rick. Okay. If it's on Amazon, I won't watch it, but I uh, can't remember. There's, I'm sorry. Uh, there's oh, two okay. commas after record, so we should get rid of that. Okay, where are we at here? Um, record. Uh, record. Oh, I just see your cursor there. That's why I thought. Oh, no, there. sorry. Okay, we're back up here. So, okay, okay. criminalization of plant medicines represents. Plant medicines represents. Does it represent? represents a necessary step. Yeah. Yeah, because it's. Is it that's an S at the end represent? Yeah, because it's getting to decriminalization. Okay. No, I think you're right. It should be singular. You're, right. You're right. Plant medicines represent. Yeah, you're right, Michelle. Necessary step to assess potentially beneficial use, eliminate stigma, and enable residents to seek treatment without fear of criminal. Enable residents? No. You criminalize plant medicine drugs in this way. Should we say and enable people? Yeah, I would say people. Okay. Should it be enabling residents to assess potentially beneficial use, eliminate? Oh no, enable. You're right. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the city councils of Somerville, Cambridge. Do we want to make sure that list is complete prior to this going to council? Or are we good with just- It's up to you. I, I'm fine with it for right now. I I, okay. Okay, somebody highlighted this and it wasn't me. Um, so I'm not sure if it was one of the two of I you. No, I think maybe I, what, did I do that? No, I don't think I did that. <laughs> okay. I had something like that highlighted in something Kathy may have used, but uh, the note said that it had to be checked. And the Amherst Town Police do consider enforcement of as a, among the lowest law enforcement priorities. They're they're not out there trying to round up arrests because of drugs. I think that at least three counselors have heard that directly from Chief Livingstone. Yeah. So I feel, including yeah. myself yeah. and you, Pat, so I feel comfortable with that. Do you, Jennifer, does that work yes. for you? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to, we don't need, this isn't going to be highlighted. Okay. Right. Yeah. I mean, the issue was setting policy. This is not, 
because this is already the policy. Right. Well, it isn't. Yeah, that's what they're doing. So we don't have to worry about it. And again, that was I think there's two commas after record. So one, I think that's why that was that why that's high. My it was highlighted because Kathy wanted us to just check that with the police. Oh, okay. Um, but where? Okay, record. I can't tell if I'm seeing two commas after that word. No, no. has long standing record of, or is that what you're talking about? No, the very last word. And oh, no yes, oh. that is the, it should be the, um, oh, because it's, isn't it a period oh, here? Oh, it is, it's a comma and a period. It, it should, should just be a, be a period. Period, right? Okay. Because it's the last one. It's the last where, oh no, and, I don't know. It, no, I don't think it says and on the last one. Let me check. Uh, let me just check. There we uh, go. There's does, and I've got so many other resolutions. <laughs> I should this by yeah, I think I think it's okay for it to have a period. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So now, therefore, be it resolved that the Amherst Town Council supports. Use of plant medicines primarily, we don't need this as, right? Use of plant medicines primarily as an issue of public and mental health. Yes. Yeah, right? Okay. Decriminalization of, of use of. Yeah, the decriminalization. I think this of use of isn't needed, is it? So can I just ask? Yeah, sure. Is this what people, the kind of thing people were feeling uncomfortable with now be it that to view the use of it or just that the Amherst Town Council supports a decriminalization of plant-based medicine mm -hmm. and views the use of plant medicines. I, I mean, I don't think, I feel that's a really, um, I wouldn't, I can't say that all counselor views the use of plant medicines primarily as an issue of public and mental health. I mean, is that what I you're I just saying? wonder if that's where they're feeling, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that is the kind of statement that would throw this back again. Right. Or maybe it would just be a minority. I don't know. It's we're we're supporting the. De I support the decriminalization. So that's I do too. It's the next issue. clause. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. The How about the that? The Amherst Town Council supports decriminalization of plant medicine. Uh, oh, we already uh, talked about it's what the use of plant medicine, and views the use. All right, the decriminalization of plant medicine and views the use of plant medicines as primarily, primarily. of public and mental health. So one of the things that's not in this at all and that I would like to see added back somehow, and maybe this is a good place to do that, is about harm reduction. I mean, because really that's what we're talking about here is harm okay. reduction, right? Uh, there, there, let me see. Uh, well, this is, see, here's the difference. What they're saying is the town council maintains that the use and possession of all controlled substances should be understood by town departments, agencies, and commissions and all town employees first and primarily as an issue of public health harm reduction and as a restorative justice initiative. Is that, yeah. that's what you're talking about? Yes. Now there, that the town's council supports the decriminalization. Guys, I'm gonna be, or people, I'm going to be coming in on um, another Zoom because my battery's about to die on this computer. Um, so. I left my charger in New oh, Jersey. Wow. So <laughs> that would be oh, wow. the solution. Um, but I think this should 
save where we're at. So hang on, let me, it's not lost yet. Keep talking. Um, yeah, I'm just having. See here in this one, we're telling them. Recording in progress. All right, I think uh, public health All right, I think we can do this. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Um, it means getting rid of mental health here, possibly, but I'm looking at what they wrote as an issue of public health, comma, harm reduction, comma, and as a restorative racial justice initiative. I think, I think people can stand behind that. Okay, hang on. I'm just pulling it up onto here now, and then I'm going to get off that other one. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, hang on one second. Um, okay. I hope this pulls up the one that we've been working on. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me share my screen here. Sorry about this. Um, do you see it now on this screen? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. I'm going to go get out of here. Okay. All right. Keep going. Pat, what were you saying? Well, I'm looking at what they wrote. And there, we're here, this says the council maintains that the use of should be understood. Uh, is that the right one? Yeah. What I think this should say uh, that the Amherst Town Council supports uh, the, de mm, the decriminalization of plant medicine and views the use of plant medicines as primarily an issue of public health, harm reduction, and as a restorative justice initiative. But I'm hearing Jennifer say, will people support it? So the uh, aren't we supporting the potential decriminalization? Well, I think we're definitely supporting the decriminalization. That, okay. that's, that's, that's not a question. Okay, so then I think it should just say of plant medicine. Right, because I think there you're getting into how they view it as more subjective. Exactly. I, I, I don't think we should have that, but is there a way that we can include the harm reduction piece, Pat, based on what you're reading? So you're saying it shouldn't say and views the use of plant... Why? Right. I, I got the feeling that's where people were having some objection. No, I thought it was about being given directions on how to take it. Yes, but, exactly. Which well, is they didn't like it feeling like it was being promoted. I guess exactly. that's why some people felt like. Yeah, but this didn't. isn't and views. What we're saying is the use of plant medicine is an issue of public health, harm reduction. I don't know. I don't. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just I'm not anticipating sure. Yeah, other but you're people. that's important. <coughs> Can you, I think there must be a, uh, <coughs> oh, the slider. Do you know that on our town computers, there's a little slider at the top of the, um, that you can hide your camera? Athena told me about that. No, Do you know about that? that? Okay, so on your town computer, on the top of your camera, there's this tiny little thing that slides back and forth. So if you don't want to turn your camera off, you can literally just slide it and it, watch, I just slid mine. Yeah, but it's like what, putting a shade up? Yep. Well, I can't see where. You don't have it on yours, maybe? I don't know. I if can't you can see where you're saying it is. It doesn't matter because anyway. I can just stop my video. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay, that's so, this one I'm not going to try to take try it. right now. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So can you, can you read one more time, Pat, what they say in theirs, please? Uh, the whole thing? Yeah. Uh, now, therefore, blah, blah, that the Amherst Town Council hereby maintains that the use and possession of all controlled substances should be understood by town departments, agencies, boards, committee, and all 
employees of the town first and primarily as an issue of public health harm reduction and as a restorative uh, racial justice initiative. And is it, anyway, what I'm thinking is if the town council supports the decriminalization of, plant, of using plant medicine, and we view the, that use as an issue of public health, harm reduction and restorative justice. I don't see how that. Um, okay, yeah, that's. That would be problem. So I'm not saying use it the way they've written it, but except for the ending. I do, I don't think it supports the use of decriminal, decriminalization decriminalization of use of plant medicine. No, I'm just saying the decriminalization of plant medicine. Plant medicine, okay. And then, and you're suggesting and say, and use, the, what do you say? Yeah. The, 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 and use the use of plant medicines. Yep. Yeah. As an issue of public health, harm reduction and as a restorative racial justice initiative. And should it just be a restorative justice initiative? Okay, hold on. Public health, uh, harm reduction. reduction. <coughs> Sorry, I'll be right back. Reduction. I don't know. Oh, we shouldn't talk. We should wait till till Pat comes back. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, I have a hard stop at eleven. Okay. Let's try to finish this up, and then. Um. So, uh, what I was saying is. Um. And views the use of plant. I don't know if we do we need public health and mental health. Like so. No, I think it's just should just public health. Public health, harm reduction, and restorative justice. 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 Perfect. Does yeah. that work? And as a restorative justice initiative. And I don't know. That's what is that what theirs says? Yeah. As a initiative of restore as an a restorative justice initiative, period. Okay. And it we don't a need- period, not a colon. Yep. And no end. Perfect. Okay. Got rid of that. So be it for the result. I don't know. What's that? Nothing, nothing, oh. nothing. Does that look okay? Be really having a sports and use the use of plant medicines as an issue of public health harm reduction and as a oh we yeah. don't need and as well wait a second we're saying that we view the use of plant medicine as harm reduction how does that that does and Restore a uh, restorative justice initiative. No, mm -hmm. we're not really. What is that? Because we view that's my. If I want to use mushrooms, how is that? Uh, it is an issue of my health, public health, and mental health, maybe. But how is that harm reduction when I'm using it at home? Or do you mean or, harm reduction of harm to health reduction? I I don't know what I'm just looking. Har in my mind, harm reduction means like it, it's used for certain, I think it can be looked at in two ways, but I think it can be, it's used for depression, anxiety, PTSD, all of those things. And also- I see um, that's an issue of public and mental health because- Yeah, I see what you're saying. Because harm reduction, some people may interpret that as like, a restorative justice initiative and then it's redundant. 
Yeah, the you know, harm reduction literally is incarceration. I, I think that it should just go back to public and mental health. And restorative justice initiative? No, I... Or no? Let me look at... Because it, it, what it's saying is the and views the use of plant medicines. How Why is the we... use of plant medicine harm reduction or the use of plant medicine a restorative racial justice initiative? I'm. I'm yeah, and why is the word use of even use is I think use is the issue. I mean the decrim so the decriminalization is part of the restorative justice initiative, but not the use. That's the, that's what I think. Yeah. So in there, I'm just looking at theirs and it says maintains that the use and possession of all controlled substances, which we had controversy over that, but just bear with me here, should be understood. So this is in the, in the original. So it right. says- So we're saying we want to decriminalize it, but the use is neither here nor there. We're, we're, I mean, not neither here nor there, but it's, if we decriminalize it and we view it, I, again, it sounds like maybe it's the it's the word use that's hanging us up. So are you you can see my screen actually, right? Yeah. So we're here, Pat, just so you know, yeah. um, where I just highlighted. So I think you're right, Jennifer. I think coming back to your initial instinct about use being what was um, was concerning to some counselors whether it be promoting use or whatever, right? It's just, we're not, this isn't, let's look at our title again. What is our title? On A resolution, list? it's to support, oh, well, it's to support decriminalization. Of the use of plant medicines and prioritize public health responses. That's yeah. fine. Because what we're saying then is Maybe that's maybe that's where it has to say supports the town council supports decriminalization of the use of plant medicines and, and um, their use as primarily a public an issue of public and mental uh, public health and supports prioritizing. So, okay, hang on, let's go back here. So, yes, I think you're on to something here. Okay, so that the Amherst Town Council supports decriminalization of the use of plant medicines, right? right? right. Let me just see something real quick. Yeah. Um, and views the use of plant mm -hmm. medicines as an issue of public and mental health. Okay, so I just want us to look at the, public health. So if we're looking at the original resolution, Kathy changed the title to include use. So why don't we just, a resolution in, this, this isn't even to support, no, a resolution supporting decriminalization of plant medicines. Can I just do something for a second? Um, supporting decriminalization to of plant medicines and prioritizing public health responses, right? I don't, I'm not sure what that changes, except we do need public health in here. I think that to say, resolute, we're not, like the word, you, I don't know why use is in there. Resolution supporting decriminalization. That's what we're doing, right? Okay. Very okay. And prioritizing okay. public yeah. health responses. Okay. Is that so then, 
solid. And then, so that means then if we come down here, then we're saying that the Amherst Council supports decriminalization of plant medicines mm -hmm. and supports. I, I, and I think it should just say, and views the use of plant medicines as primarily a public health issue. Yeah, I, that's, that's fine. Yes. Okay, so decriminalization of plant medicine and views the use of plant medicines as an issue of public health or as a public health issue. Hmm. I like that better. Is that okay? As a public health issue? Yeah, yeah, I think that is. That's what Pat said. I think that's a public health issue. Ooh, yeah. We have three minutes to 11. Okay, I think we're almost done here. I don't know what I did here, but something. Public health issue period. Okay. Be it further resolved that the town council, okay, we express support for this, yeah. right? We're okay yeah. with that. Okay. Um, the resolution does not authorize or enable any of the following activities. Commercial yep. sale. That one's good. Mm -hmm. And then these are the people it needs to go to. I think we're done. We're good. Yeah. All right. Good job, team. Good. <laughs> All right. Who wants to? Make, well, make it's much. I mean, when we have to thank Kathy, it's it's much simpler. Yeah, and that, and that was the point. concern. It was running far afield. I agree. I agree. And I think there was a lot of learning that occurred in working with community sponsors versus you know, and and we learned a lot all around. I think so. And yes, to thank Kathy for bringing this forward. And I'm actually not going to be at the meeting on the nineteenth. Um, at so, the eighteenth. Uh, sorry, whatever the next yeah. meeting is. I might um, not be there either. Oh, and Anika's not going to be there either. I don't believe. I am going to try and zoom in. But I don't. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what three of you. That it's the 18th. The council meeting is the 18th. Right. Yeah. Three, that leaves 10 people. We're still fine. I mean, We're still fine. Yeah, but maybe, Pat, if if me and Anika and Jennifer aren't there, maybe you could make the report, like if there's a GOL report, um, yeah. and just if making you, sure. If you write it up, happy. Yeah, I'll, sure. I'll be happy sure. to share. We'll ask you to share your screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make this resolution. So I'm going to move to declare a resolution supporting decriminalization of plant medicines and prioritizing public health responses to be clear, clear consistent, and consistent. actionable. But I do wonder, Athena, if we should say anything about having done a substantive review. That can be in the report. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. because, yeah, that's what we were ordered to do, and that's what we did, and here's what we got. Yeah. Okay, so do we have a second? Second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you should second for all your work, all your edits. The rest let's, uh, let's vote and get Jennifer yeah. out. Okay, Jennifer, oh, how do you vote? Yes. Pat. Hi. <laughs> okay, and Michelle, yes, and Miller, yes. And so the only thing I'll want to check on is that I guess Lopes and Rooney want to remain counselor sponsors. Um, but I don't know if that's a matter of this. So uh, did you get that, Athena? Yes, thank you. Okay, great. All right. So I do have to just make sure there's no public comment before you leave. Um, okay, there's, oh, Jennifer, please. No, you can go to public comment. I, There's nobody okay. here. Nobody. Okay. nobody here. No need to do public comment. I, I will not be at the July 20th meeting. So I don't know if that's. Okay. So either will Mandy and either will Anika. So, we, leaves, so no meeting. No meeting on July. And I am not mad about that because <laughs> I will be <laughs> zooming in from Spain. Um, so I, I guess we'll. Yeah, we'll have to cancel that meeting. Um, but 
I'll speak with Lynn and just make sure there's nothing. So our next I am here, here all through August. August. Me too, yeah. What, what's that, Pat? August 3rd would be the next meeting. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. I'm with you. All right, good. Well, thank you. I am adjourning the meeting at 1101 .01 and great job. Thank you so much. This was good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.